Uh, the movie today is The Gunfighter. And we're into really here the beginning of uh, a, a really new phase in the development of the Western and the development of a new character called the Gunfighter. Now, uh, we have here a replica of the Colt, uh, of the Colt Navy Colt, uh, roughly model 1853, a standard weapon used in the 1850s and in the Civil War, uh, the most commonly used weapon in the West. Uh, the weapon that you will see in the movies uh, that we're, we're going to look at is not this one. It is a later model, 1873 and later, called the Colt Peacemaker. It's a much slicker looking weapon, but these were manufactured in immense quantities during the Civil War, and after the Army was, was done with them, they were sold all over the country. So this is like the, 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 the working class weapon that most people are, uh, are dealing with. Um, here you go. Nope, you'll get, you'll get your chance next. Okay, now, you, you holster it. Now, in order to fire it, you pull it out of the holster, you thumb back the hammer. I should say, by the way, this is not only a non-firing replica. This is a replica that cannot be made to fire. You don't <laughs> fool around with guns. This ain't a gun, this is a toy. But it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good replica. Now, do you notice anything about it? It's heavy. It's heavy. So when you see these guys whip it out of the holster, shoot somebody, twirl it, and put it back, you are seeing a fantasy played out, a fantasy of power and grace, which is part of the attribute of the hero. OK, let's see, let's see. All right. OK, you shot the speaker. <laughs> now what you want to do is pull it out slowly, thumb the hammer back, aim. Ah, that's it. Two hands. Brace it. All right. So when they do that thing where they whip it out and then pull it back? Then yeah, you, 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 you use that to, to push the hammer back. However, fanning it, uh, j just try to... F Notice the way it bobbles around when she does that? That's another thing which is bogus. Okay. Okay. Give a hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The first test is being able to actually get it buckled, which I can't do anymore. All right. Let's see. Let's see your stance here. Yeah. Okay. Do you see the problem? That, that's it. You got to get it back. You got to do it. You got to do a Doc Holiday. Do a Doc Holiday. Okay. Go ahead. Let's see the technique. Excellent. 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 I still say, however, the thumb is better. Now, let me point out the, the beauty of this, and and uh, and the reason why objects like this become fetishized is is uh, is many. It is an instrument of power. Uh, it gives you, you can, you can, um, uh, it is an instrument of power. Uh, good. Um, it says, you know, it gives you six votes. Um, and um, uh, that's one of the reasons why it's admired. It's also a beautiful piece of 19th century industrial engineering. Uh, one person, person that I've read, one industrial historian says, it reproduces in itself the method of its construction. That is to say, it's an assembly line uh, process that puts the pistol together, and it's a little assembly line for producing gunfire. So you fire and shoot, the barrel, ro the uh, cylinder rotates, popping up a new gun into the chamber, and you fire it. Uh, people love these things. I kind of like.